We'll start with the uh, mixing bowl. What we're gonna add to this mixing bowl is miso. I have some Japanese uh, base miso. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some of this miso in. And the recipe for this is pretty much by taste. Everybody has a different taste as to what, what they feel it should be. So, so if you're in a ballpark, amount of miso to amount of sugar, one, one to one? One, gotcha. one to one. Somewhere around there, I have a little sake. I have some fresh ground ginger. Uh huh. And what we'll do is we'll mix this, we'll taste it. So back home, after I get to this point, just put it on the side for a few days before I use it? No, you can use it straight like straight this. this. Okay. Yeah. So now that we got this like this, what we'll do is we'll take a pan, and we'll put the fillets of moi in, and we'll add some of our miso in, our dark miso. So we're gonna use that. This is our, for later on, huh? Yeah, we, we, <laughs> for we, the we business. can save that. We can save that. That's good stuff. We'll flip it over and we'll do both sides. I would say the best thing to do is let this marinate for a couple of days. This is the Japanese caramel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got this like this. Okay, while this is setting, what we'll do is we'll get ready and we'll start on the plating for the, uh, for the, the dish for the plating, so. So Asian style vegetables, huh? Correct, we have um, bok choy, one bok, choy sum, so. Uh -huh. We're gonna saute all of all of these vegetables together, and we're gonna use that as a base for our miso moi. Chef, when we're sauteing vegetables like this, what can go wrong? We talk too much and we burn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah. We add some white wine. What we just wanna do is just get them just roast it a bit. We we'll roast them down and. Well, that looks great, but there's something missing. Our moist. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do that right now. So, gotta go fast, yeah. Yeah. We're doing meat side down, skin side you up. You have to meat side down first. Yeah. Okay. Usually, when you do the skin side down first, the fish will tend to curl. You know, that's it'll, true. It'll, it'll, it'll that's twist true, up. Yeah. So you want it to you want it to curl at the end of cooking, not at the beginning of cooking. So we're gonna have to make sure that the, the, the moi is gonna cook about a minute and a half, a minute on one side. Skin side, probably about the same. Mm. And that looks great. Chef, you cook by sound. I cook by sound. <laughs> when, when it changes, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. People from the outside looking in go, what? No, you actually do. You gotta use your ears when you're cooking. Once the, the pitch changes, the water content changes in the food, so. Oh, this is just about there. So what we'll do with this. It's interesting, yeah, the fish doesn't look like it's that big in the hole, but when you make the fillets and you serve it, there's a lot of, there's a lot of food on this yes. fish. What we're gonna do is we're gonna crisscross it just to. Okay, we're gonna garnish this carrot carrot curls on top, and we're gonna use a little bit of green onion sliver. Ooh, chef! Terrific. We get, we, we're missing something here. Chopsticks. Chopsticks and a bowl of rice. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what. We'll I'll get the rice and you get the chopsticks. Okay, let's take a break, folks. Okay. We'll be right back to see if this tastes as good as it looks. All right. Beautiful. Hi, welcome back to the show. Folks, if you just joined us, we're with Chef Colin Nishida of Side Street Inn. Ben. Always a pleasure to be here. Great work. Please uh, describe this for us again. This is a misoyaki moi. Mm -hmm. a king's fish we've done in a Japanese traditional style of misoyaki. So coated it with miso. We pan seared it and we served it on some mixed Asian greens. Man, it looks fantastic. Let, let's, let's do this right now. Okay. Colin, I've always enjoyed what you do in both places. Oh. Beautiful. Mm. 
You don't want none of this. Mm -hmm. It's good. Man, you know, you know, you might, I don't know, you might be upset I'm going to say this, right? That's the best fish I've, I've had from you, man. I mean, the one that I've enjoyed the most. Not the best, but the one that I've enjoyed the most. <laughs> Chef, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, always a pleasure. Folks, we want to say thank you to everyone else who's on the show, and it's not going to be that long. We'll see you next week on Let's Go Fishing. Oh!